This is a Microsoft Word document with a lot of information coming from fields containing document properties. When the value of a document property is changed, everywhere it is referenced also changes. No find and replace needed. Just update the document. Access manages this very well. But first, we start with Word itself. I'll show you how to define and use built-in and custom Word document properties. I also shared VBA code on msaccessgurus.com that you can run to make lists of property names and values. Hi, this is Crystal. There's lots of fields here, shaded in gray, with information coming from document properties. To see document properties, go to File, Info. On the right, you can see some of the built-in properties. I'm sure you recognize some of these. File size, the number of pages and words, title, comments, when the file was created and modified, at the bottom of the list, you can click Show All Properties to see the rest of them. You can change the values right here. Back at the top, if you drop down Properties, you can click Advanced Properties. A dialog box opens. The Summary tab shows built-in properties. You can change values here, too. The Custom tab shows properties that you define. The top list box is for suggestions. They aren't properties that are already created. That can be a little confusing. The bottom list shows the custom properties that I've already set up, and there are several of them. Click a property to pick it for editing. Its name Data type and value are displayed in controls that you can change. The new due date is March 2nd. Change the value and click the Modify button. The company name is also wrong. A Company is supposed to be ABC Company. Make changes and click Modify. Make a new custom property for the phone number. Type the name, which will be A Phone. I like to name custom properties starting with little a. Check the data type. Text is good. Enter the value and click Add. Now, A Phone is at the bottom of the list. This dialog box can't be resized but the form I'm building in Access shows everything nicely. OK, we're done here for now. Go back to the document. Now, let's use our new property. Type some text, and then to insert a field, go to the Insert ribbon. Then in the text group, Quick Parts. On a bigger monitor, the ribbon expands, so Quick Parts is easier to see. I'm recording this at 1280 by 720. Word offers some choices at the top, and these appear to be my recent auto text entries. There's a scroll bar, so there are more suggestions. Here's Field, Insert Field, near the bottom. In the dialog box on the left is a list of field names. There are lots of them. Click in the list and type D to get closer to Doc Property, and then select it. The property list in the middle shows custom and built-in properties. The custom properties are at the top of the list since they all start with A. The end of the list shows the built-in properties. I'll choose a phone and click OK. There it is! Remember we changed the company name? 
Why is it still showing the old value? The field needs to be updated. Right-click on a field and choose Update Field from the menu. Date Due still has the old value too, and more of them might have changed. Press Ctrl A to select the whole document. Right-click on the selection and choose Update Field. Now Due Date is updated to the value I put in there. Hmm, I think all the years are off by one. Luckily that's easy enough to change. Let's change the date format to show the day name. Right-click and toggle field codes. DDDD, four little Ds, and then a space before the month name will give us the name of the day. Capital M is for month, since little m is for minute. Now right-click and choose Update Field. Normally you wouldn't show field shading for everything. How do we change that? Go to File, Options, and Advanced. In the Show Document Content section, change field shading from Always to When Selected. OK. Now the field shading doesn't display unless it is in your selection. At the bottom of the sample document is a section with important dates that need to be filled out so you can get practice inserting fields. Instead of going through the ribbon, I customized my Quick Access Toolbar with the Insert Field command. There's a link in the video description to another video I made about customizing the Quick Access Toolbar, or QAT, which works the same way in Word as it does in Access. Scroll down to Doc Property, and the first one we want is Survey Date. Pick that and OK. The next date is the deadline for questions. Insert Field, Doc Property, then A Date underscore Questions. This time I'm going to click Field Codes in the lower left. At the end of the field code, we're going to add a format. Field codes are delimited with spaces, and there's already a space at the end. Backslash at sign, then space, then the format code in quotes. I'm using quote DDDD, comma, space, MMMM, space, D, comma, YYYY to get the day name, month name, day number, and four digit year. For the last date, let's copy and paste. Show field codes and change the field name to a date underscore due. In case you're wondering, case doesn't matter. Now update the field, and there it is. Hmm, maybe toggle field codes and use four M's for the full month name, MMMM. Then update the field. If you want to do these steps yourself, you can download this sample document from msaccessgurus.com, VBA, and then Word Document Properties. Go to Download in the Quick Jump List. And on this page, you'll also find steps you can follow so you can use the sample and get the VBA code into your normal template so you can run it on any document. The link is in the video description. This page has a lot of information that will be helpful to you when you start using document properties. I'll scroll through a bit of it. Steps to change built-in document properties. How to show Word document properties in File Explorer how to create custom properties, 
how to insert document properties using fields, entering format codes, updating values, toggling field codes, and this is just halfway down the page. It's a long web page. Here you will also find VBA code that you can put into your normal template to list the names and values of all the document properties in any Word document. If your developer ribbon is showing, from the developer ribbon, click Macros in the code group. The shortcut key for macros is Alt-F8, and that's the same in Excel and PowerPoint. If you want to turn on the Developer Ribbon, go to Options, Customize Ribbon, and check Developer near the bottom. Choose the macro that you want. This macro is called A underscore list underscore word document properties underscore S4P and click Run. When it's done, tables are added to the end of the document, showing the names and values of all the built-in and custom properties. After you look at the lists of properties, you can either copy them to somewhere else or delete them. One advantage of using properties is that Several of the built-in properties can be displayed in columns of File Explorer. In the Details view, right-click a column heading and choose More from the bottom of the list. I'm choosing Title, Authors, Company, Comments, and Subject. Remember, you can type a letter to move around this list quickly. There are a lot of other columns showing, so the ones I just added are way off to the right. I'm turning other columns off, dragging to move, and resizing. A lot more information shows up on a bigger monitor. If you want to try this yourself, create a new module in your normal .dotm template, copy and paste the VBA code, Name the module, then Compile, and Save Normal. Download the zip file with the sample Word document. Unblock the zip file. Extract the Word document from the zip file. Open the Word document. Run the code to list the properties, and look at the results. Fill the important dates by inserting doc property fields. Experiment with format codes. Maybe you also want to edit property values and then update the document. Can this technique be useful for you? I still use other methods, like bookmarks to mark positions for inserting external images, creating multiple records, and other things. Do you have information in a database that you want to insert into Word documents? Or do you have a bunch of documents that you're constantly manually changing? Do you want to streamline your process? Let's connect and team develop your application together. I teach you how to do it yourself. Email me, training at msaccessgurus.com. Thanks for joining me. Wishing you the best success. And I want to wish someone special a very happy birthday today. Mm -hmm.